Hi guys, I'm Patty. And Esme. And my name is Monica. Uh, we're here kind of representing Miami Life Center, practicing under Sharat. And we thought we'd make this video to kind of let you guys know about our experience here. I know a lot of people have questions about what it's like to come here, what it takes to come here. So hopefully we'll answer some of those questions. So first I wanted to go, by, go through um, and talk a little bit about why we decided to come here in the first place. So my first time was two years ago and I came really just because I was told I should come. Like I don't, I don't even think I had like my own personal like burning desire to come. It was kind of just, I was doing the apprenticeship at Miami Life Center and all the teachers were like, you gotta go to Mysore. And I, I, and I think there was just something in me that was like quietly telling me that I needed to go because there was nothing that stopped me from being like, oh no, no, I can't go. So I was just like, okay, yeah, you're right. That really resonates with something really deep in me that I need to go, so I'm gonna go. And once I made the decision to come, I think that was the hardest part, making the decision. Once I was like, yes, I'm gonna go to Mysore, then everything else seemed to fall into place. So for me, the hardest part, and I know this isn't the case with everybody, but for me, the hardest part of coming to Mysore my first time was actually making the decision in my mind to come. Once I was like resolute in coming, then everything kind of like naturally progressed into me being in Mysore and I was like oh my god what am I doing here and my first experience was amazing I really really loved it um, but I'll stop there so why did you guys come to Mysore decide to come to Mysore the first time okay so for me uh, I had a loud voice it was quite the opposite I was decided I knew I, I wanted to come and the year that I wanted to come it was 2014 I had to have a surgery a fibroid removed on my uterus so I left it for 2015 and uh, 2015 and I, I never had anything that was thinking that would stop me from coming but I thought that you had to like be fully prepared for this like you needed to do no an entire full primary series you needed to be like super advanced and that was the perhaps the only thing that stopped me from coming in 2013 when I actually wanted to come that was the first year so I waited about two years to be sort of ready to come um, and then other than that I don't know but then everything happened so smoothly you, so once you felt ready is when you came uh, it wasn't like re I was ready in my mind mm -hmm. but once I was accepted it just all went through smoothly the first time first and second time was pretty smooth okay so it was mentally preparing for it yeah okay yes. because a lot, one of the questions and I'll just like go off to the side for a second here a lot of the questions that we get is that you need to be physically prepared to come here so what would you say to someone who's like, oh, I'm not physically ready to, okay. to practice in the Shirai? I can pick on that. Yeah, yeah. Okay, you don't have to feel, wait for the moment in which you're gonna be perfectly fit, physically fit, mm -hmm. like your practice is amazing. It's never gonna happen. It wasn't for me for the first time. I'm sure I was the one who gave me the poses for the second series and worked with me for, for drawbacks. And on the second trip, I was having sort of like a bother, some uh, thing going on on my knee right a month right before I, I went and I even hesitated and I said, oh man, should I go? Maybe I shouldn't go. And the teacher at the time said that has nothing to do, that he have seen senior advanced practitioners modifying and doing short practices. Of course, they've been to my store before and sure I had to know them, but was not a it shouldn't be a factor since i had already been and i went and i had a great time my knee situation went away thanks to the so-called miser magic yeah miser magic it's Meister real magic. i think if you know your sequency mm -hmm. you have to memorize right. the sequency until the pose mm -hmm. that are you working that is good yeah, yeah. that's true here. That's true. You just have to yeah. know your sequ yes, the sequence very important, up actually. to the posture that you're practicing. Yeah. And that could be Mari Chasana B. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. But you have to know your sequence. Because sure, it's not going to... Yeah. And you can't... Like, it's I think true. that's one uh, an important thing is to not wait until you think that your asana is perfect. Oh, no. To then come to my sword. Yeah. You know? And I, and I hear that a lot. Especially at Miami Life Center. Like, yeah. oh, I'm not ready. I'm not ready. I'm like, what are you talking about? You practice six times a week yeah. under an authorized teacher. Like, you're definitely ready. The yeah. asana is never gonna be, at least for me, is never gonna be perfect. Mm -hmm. In my mind, I thought I needed to be perfect for Utita Hasta for Bangushtasana. Mm -hmm. well, I'm not gonna I'm wait. I'm not gonna wait. I'm still working on that three posture. Years for that <laughs> pose. <laughs> exactly. Then I'll never be a miser. <laughs> okay, so Esme, why? Well, why? What made you decide to come to miser the first time? In my case, 
was very different to mm -hmm. your case because I was living in Argentina and it was like I start practicing Ashtanga and the first thing that was my my I don't know my craziness was the jump back mm -hmm. and I asked to my friend no to my teacher if one day it's going to be possible for me to do it yeah. and he told me yes if Kina McGregor can do it with this <laughs> leg you can do it and I was like okay who is Kina McGregor and the first video of Kino that I saw was about Mysore. Oh my oh, god! Nice. Out of all the videos that Kino yeah. has on YouTube. Why? So those two girls were really inspiring. Yeah? Yeah. And was like, when I saw the colors of the powders, the cocoon mm -hmm. powders and the city and she explained everything, I was like, what? I need to go wow. there right now. Cool. And I asked my teacher and she explained me everything and because of that it was was that I did my first trip in mm -hmm. I am not sure if it was 2013 or 2014 okay <laughs> so your first trip was a while ago yes nice that yeah. happened to me too yeah. I didn't have any teacher telling me to go to Mysore but I remember I saw Kino's video yeah. and I was like whoa like a Mysore magic yeah. video and everything like yeah. you wanted to Mysore be there. Magic. it's cool it's cool to notice though how like we get seeds in different places that yes. like end up blossoming into this trip to Mysore. Like your seed was a video, your seed was jumping back and jumping through. And that became <laughs> no, you becoming so attracted to the culture. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, it was the first video. Yes, it was the first video that I saw of her. Cool. And was like, oh my God, I have to go there. What is that powder? What is yeah. that color? Yeah, and it's like the culture and like, yes. and like how amazing the city is and how much you can discover. Yes. Cool. <laughs> In terms of my story, I want to kind of start from the beginning with applying because a lot of people have questions about applying. Mm. So like, where does that process even start? Okay, so first you need to know when he's teaching, which these days it's kind of, um, we kind of have to be on our toes and waiting for him to announce when he's going to teach. It used to be a little bit more predictable, right? But yeah. now it's kind of in the summer or it's three months in the winter. It used to be longer times in mm. the winter. This season was only three months, January, February, March. So he'll announce it on his website, shoutoutjoyce.com, when he's gonna practice. I mean, when he's gonna teach. It's three months before, before. you come that mm. you need to apply. And like that is very specific, like three months to the, to the second. Mm -hmm. So if you're gonna start January 1st, three months before January 1st is October 31st mm -hmm. so October 31st at midnight Indian time so then you need to accommodate for like wherever you are wherever, whatever time zone you're in that's when you need to be on your computer refreshing the homepage for shoutoutjoyce.com where a registration link will come up you click it you fill it out as fast as you can and you submit and as soon as they reach the maximum number of submissions they will not take your application and that happens in like five minutes yeah. like um, 1205 Indian time it's closed I might be exaggerating a little bit. We're like 12.07. 12.07. Okay. Yeah. So what do you need for the application? 